All right. Hi, everyone. I have the pleasure of talking to you, talking with you, about something that I love and I adore and that I think can change the world. And that is, of course, improv theater, unscripted theater. I think it's important when talking about improv to start with a, a familiar point, uh, and that point is whose line is it anyway? Whose line is it anyway is a short form comedic improv show, Colin Mockery, Wayne Brady, funny people making funny things up. Now, whose line is it anyway is kind of a blessing and a curse to the world of improvisation uh, because it's on, uh, it really just represents one small piece of a larger improv pie, a delicious improv pie. And it's a blessing because it's popularized improv. We all know and can talk about improv because whose line is it anyway? But it's a curse because it's given people this misconception that improv is about being funny. Improv is not about being funny. It's fun to do, it's fun to learn, it's fun to watch, but it doesn't operate on funny. Improv operates on a highly refined framework of listening, connecting, and responding that encourages trust, flexibility, and collaboration in the moment. Now, when these skills that to seem like chaos to some people, they're actually really simple, are used effectively on stage, it seems like magic. You know, what you've seen on Whose Line Is It Anyway, it seems like magic. How did they do that thing? They were just like, it's like they were inside their head. It was, and then they brought that thing back from the beginning, and then they did that thing. It was amazing. Now, what's less talked about, but more important, in my opinion, is uh, not what happens on stage, but how the skills of improv theater translate off stage. The more important slice of the improv pie. Because when you think about it, all of our lives are improvised. We didn't wake up with a script in the morning. Uh, we have conversations for hours without planning it out. We make plans, those change. Our lives are an improvisation. Our lives are improv, and hopefully it's a long scene. Now, who baked that improv pie? Where did improv come from? What the what's the rest of that pie? Who baked that improv pie? Viola Spolin, who in the 1940s used improv as a skill building tool to help socialize and uh, build confidence with youth uh, in Chicago in the 1940s. Uh, now, later we see improv as a performance art form in the 70s with the Second City and today. But we have a, a renaissance of, of improv as a skill building tool more recently. MIT, Sloan School of Management, teaches their MBA students about improv, as does UBC. We also see improv being used in uh, psychology, in um, medicine, in negotiation, uh, and we see improv in high schools now, which to me is so, so great. Uh, particularly through that organization that Bang mentioned, the Canadian Improv Games. The Canadian Improv Games, it uh, brings improv to high school students um, and allows them to explore improv in a very fun and supportive way. And I've had the pleasure of teaching through the Canadian Improv Games and watching improv transform these students into more connected, open, and happy people. Now, it would be rude of me to talk about improv and how it can change your life and not give you a few tips on how to become a better improviser. The first is to listen. Listen. Listen with a willingness to change based on what is said. As I said before, listening, connecting, and responding. That's how improv operates. The first step is listening. The best improvisers are not the most extroverted and silly people. They're the best listeners. The second thing is to say yes and, just like Wendy said, say yes, say yes and. This is an improviser's mantra, we say yes and. By saying yes, we build positivity. By saying and, we collaborate. Here's an example. Oh my god, there's a bear in the kitchen! Yes, and it's making us a delicious omelet. That's how improv operates, with yes and. Now, I've talked about improv, and I hope that now you have a little crush on improv. And you should, because you're going to be improvising every day whether you like it or not. And you, here's another thing. You should love improv because it gives us a, a, a platform to work together effectively and have fun while doing it. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>